Hey, Stephen Carey here. We're going to dive into exactly how we got 27 leads in the last 30 days for one of our roofing clients. Carey's going to dive deep into the weeds. So buckle up, get ready. We're going to dive in now. All right. So what I'm going to show you here is this is a client of ours who is a roofer in Tucson, Arizona. And what you're looking at here is May of 2023. So if you're looking at this later than that, it would probably even get better results than this as we go along. So quickly, I want to show you here a conversion rate of 32.93%. That means over three out of every 10 visitors from ads to the landing page are converting into either a phone call or a form submission. 27 conversions, which is 27 leads over that time, and a cost per conversion of just over $50, which is fantastic for roofing. So what I want to show you here is where these ads are showing up. These are search ads uh, on Google. So I'm going to use a little tool here called I search from. So it's actually a cool little thing because it allows you to put yourself in whatever city you want. So putting myself here in Roofer, Tucson, and search. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click search. And here it is here. So in these search results, what you see here is the, it is not these at all, right? These are your local search ads or your Google guarantee. What it is, it are these. So you're showing up under sponsored here, right at the top. And if you are a verified Google ads client, you are allowed to put in your logo like this. And you can even start putting in images like this as well. So what happens is that this stuff stands out way more than the rest of the stuff in the page. You're at the top, right? And you're going to be getting more clicks from this because if this is what people are looking for, then you're going to get clicks and you get people to a landing page and hopefully have your landing page set up right to convert. So that's a prime example of what these search ads are. Uh, that was a little bit of a rundown of where these ads show up. I'm just going to dig into this campaign here and I'm going to show you the ad groups and why we have these ad groups set up the way they are. So each one of these ad groups is kind of a specific theme to what people might be searching for. So for example, here is that you see roofing contractor company Tucson, uh, roof leak repair, roofing contractor company that somebody might not put Tucson in, a roof installation. There's many more on here. But anyways, so what we do is I'm just going to click on this ad group and you're going to see the keywords here. So the keywords are very specific to Tucson roofers or Tucson roofing companies. So you see right now it says, here's, here's a keyword for Tucson roofers, keyword for Tucson roofing companies, roofing Tucson. So what it is that these keywords are hyper specific yeah. Yeah. to what people might be searching for. So we want to make sure that if somebody's looking for that, then we want ads that match that as well. So if we look at the ads for this ad group, you're going to see headlines in here, top yeah. roofing company Tucson, best roofers in Tucson, Arizona, roofing contractors in Tucson. Even down here, we do another variation of it to make everything specific to what they're searching for. So if somebody is searching for a specific keyword, they see an ad about that keyword, and then they go to a landing page that matches what people have searched for in the ad that they've seen. So it's very that's how you get better traffic during your own landing page and converting more of it. And this it's last a, ad here. It's a common mistake. It's something that it happens on a huge percentage of, of ads. Uh, I was shopping for something the other day. It said um, some sort of government rebate related to this specific product. I click on the ad. It mentioned nothing about the government rebate. So yes, the ad worked great. That's cool. It hooked me, right? So I went to the landing page. The landing page was completely unrelated to it. So, and the reason it doesn't happen is it's a lot more work. So they probably have 40 different ads running. So each one each ad that has something different should be going to a different landing page about that, but it's way more work for the marketing company. So, you know, they do, they don't do it, but it's an absolute waste of your money because then your conversion rate sucks, right? So maybe one in 50 people will actually click on it. So we want the maximum number of people clicking on it to, to, which will drive down your cost per lead ultimately. Exactly. Right. And that also means that we have landing pages that are different for roof repair roof installation, roofing company, because if somebody's looking for a roofing company, you don't know if they're looking for a repair, whether they're looking for installation or even an inspection. So we wanna make sure that we're covering everybody based on what they're searching. And just to kind of show you the last ad here, 
what you see here with this kind of one in the uh, the, the the crooked parentheses here, uh, keyword number one rivers Tucson Arizona. That's going to change to whatever they're searching for as long as it's relevant to what the keywords are in this ad group. So if whatever somebody's searching for is going to show up here as long as it fits that headline, and that's going to make it even more relevant so you get a better click through rate. So again, we make these things as relevant as possible. We even have call ads this year. So if somebody wants to call directly from them, they can. So that's a prime example of one of the ad groups. And I'll just go back to show you here all the different ad groups. So everyone is like that. I'll even show you roof leak repair. So you can see all the different keywords here to do with roof repair, whether it's emergency roof repair, uh, roof leak repair. We look at the ads. You're going to see, again, everything about roof leak repair. And you're going to see here what's interesting is that you're going to see location, Tucson, in these uh, brackets, uh, the, like I said, the crooked brackets here. And it, that is a dynamic location insertion. So let's say somebody is outside of Tucson, but still in their, their service area. Let's say Casa Grande. Or whatever, as an example, if somebody searches Casa or is in Casa Grande, it's going to change the location to that. Or if you're running this in bigger cities, like around Phoenix, and there's a whole bunch of cities around Phoenix. So if somebody was in Tempe, it's going to show Tempe there. If somebody's in Mesa, it's going to show Mesa there. Although this client's not targeting Phoenix, I'm just giving an example. So what it does, it makes the ads way more relevant to what people are searching for and knowing that if they're going to look for somebody, they're going to get somebody who's going to serve their area and not have to pick up the phone and call and say, oh, no, no, we don't serve your area. When the ad specifically says that, and of course, the landing page says that as well. So I know you're going to this next, Carrie, we're going to kind of keep keep digging in deeper here. But just from a high level perspective, it's just absolutely critical that this happens, whether you're a marketing company or whether you're um, whether you're you're trying to run your own ads or whether you're getting us to do it. Um, the the campaigns need to get better and better and better and better over time. They need to keep on improving. So what with about 98% of companies, what they do out there, and we know because we take over Google ads from other clients uh, that somebody else is running them, they set up the ads, they put them online and they forget about them. So they take your money, they you pay them every month and they never get better. They never improve and your numbers never improve. So that's how you know your marketing company is crapping the bed is because your numbers are not improving. They're not doing any work in the back end. So Google ads done right is labor intensive. There's a lot of work to it. There's a con they, they need to be constantly worked at it, constantly shaped and molded. And Carrie's going to dig into a lot more of that here. Yeah. And one of the things that needs to be done on a weekly basis is negative search terms or search term audits. So if I click on keywords here and I go to search terms, and I'm just going to pick the last week of May, just as an example here. And you're going to see here that these are all the terms that people have searched in the last week of May. And you're going to see down here these ones that are excluded. We go through and we look and determine should ads show for these keywords. And a lot of times you see uh, key search terms for competitors. So what we do is we say, no, we don't want our clients' ads to show for these. The more of these that we add over time, the better that this account gets, the better this campaign gets to show ads to the right people, to more to be more relevant, to get more leads at a lower cost per lead for our clients. If you, you're not doing this or your agency is not doing this, this could be costing you a lot of money on clicks to searches that aren't relevant to you or even a competitor. And we're doing this constantly, consistently. I think this client now has uh, a few thousand negative keywords that we put in here, and it just keeps getting better and better as we add more of them. So this is this campaign is just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger over time. And that's one thing about Google Ads is that the more work that's being done on it and done properly, the campaigns get better and better over time. So side note, um, I was a contractor for 10 years. So I ran Google ads from, you know, this is from 2007 through 2017. So I've, I've been there, I've done it. And it used to be so easy. You can make endless mistakes. 80% of it could have been not optimized correctly, but you still get a ton of leads and they still come in pretty cheap because there weren't a lot of competitors. Now everybody's on there. So the advantage is how you get a competitive advantage is you do it better, right? You just, you just run things tighter than everybody else. And that's how you beat everybody. And that'll separate you from 99% of the competition is running the ads correctly.
Exactly right. So uh, I'm going to just go through very quickly some of the optimizations that you should be doing with your ad account or your agency should be doing your ad account. So let me quickly show you some of the things that Google allows you to do. So there are audiences and we turn on all audiences to observe for our clients. That doesn't mean we're targeting them. We're just observing them to see, okay, what are people searching for? What sort of general topic are people searching for? And let's see if we can optimize it better. So you're going to see here the home and garden in market segment it has delivered 29 leads since this it, since the beginning of January. And this client didn't start with us till the end of March. And the cost per conversion is $66. This is really good, actually. So we take the bid adjustment and we adjust it by 10%, meaning that we're willing to bid more, 10% more than what our the algorithm is set up for us for this client to bid. So and it's, it's a big, long explanation on that, but we want to get as many conversions as possible. And Google's doing the automated bidding to do that. And we're saying we're willing to bid 10% more for anybody in this segment. So a couple other things on here, there's age, there's gender, there's household income. I'll just go quickly to household income and we can do different bid adjustments for that. You're going to see here lower 50%. We're probably not going to do that because it can be a little sketchy at times. Top 10%. This, I mean, if you're, that's like the ultimate uh segment that you want to be targeting here for a roofing contractor they've got four conversions at where we hear conversion rate uh sorry 61 dollars 51 cents per conversion this is great so we increase that by 10 percent top 10 percent for roof installation 11 dollars a conversion we put that at 20 percent so we go through all this find out the ones that we want to be bidding more for and we're going to get more leads out of it for a lower cost per lead there are other things like locations you can go through and change bidding adjustments for specific zip codes or cities or counties that get the most leads. This one here, $11 a lead. Yeah, we bid that one up. Uh, quickly, other one here, ad schedule. You can pick the days of the week that you want to bid more on, depending on the leads that you come in. Just to show you kind of the, the, the bad example here is Wednesday. Uh, the leads are like $179 a lead or cost per conversion. So we're bidding less than 20%, 20% less than what is recommended. So we're not spending as much on that day for this client to get more leads on the days that they will. And there's things like devices as well. We can say, hey, look at tablets here. Uh, $260 spent, no conversion. We're decreasing the bid adjustment 20% on that. And then finally, you can even look at here in calls and we're upping the bid adjustment by 30% of calls because the cost per conversion is $25, which is really cheap. So these are all the things that can be done to dig into campaigns to make them stronger, make them better. No, excellent points. Um, if you're if you're a marketer or if you're running this yourself, I think just something that I would suggest on a takeaway from it, um, as long as you have the energy for this, like Harry and his team and his his Google Ads team, they absolutely love this. They are in the weeds. They are they love all the details. You have to be interested in this because. It, it's very, very time consuming. It's very, very meticulous. Um, if if this if this isn't your thing, hire it out. Get somebody else to do it. Um, you know, because it takes a lot of energy to do it right. Exactly, tons of energy, and also knowing how to optimize these campaigns. You can't just set them and forget them and expect leads to keep coming in. That doesn't work. It's something that has to be done on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to go into these accounts, these campaigns and fix, not fix things, change things and make them better and better. Find out, look at the data, find out what's doing the best, what's not doing the best and adjust the bidding and other things to get more leads for less. One and of the things we can jump, I know you got more stuff to show. I just wanted to jump over. One of the thing that we can do, or this is a, this is an add-on service that we do for our clients. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, so for months now, um, we did it at first for our own leads. So we got like thousands of people, you know, messaging in over time into our websites, all over different, different kind of chat streams. Um, and it's a lot to handle and it's a lot to push onto your team. And it's a lot to push on a sales guys, especially when they're coming in 24 hours a day. So we created an AI chat bot based on chat GPT that communicates for our clients for us and gets it through to actually being booked in and scheduled in for us. So we started off scratching our own itch, solving our own problem 
um, of, of, of automating our client communication or a lot of the client communication, the text-based stuff, um, that were great. So we started rolling out to our clients. So it's essentially um, how it can get added to Google. Um, let's say we're running Google ads for you. Um, it's just an, an extra feature or functionality that we can add to it. So this is one of our clients. This is actually an HVAC company, but this is just today. So 359 client messaged in, uh, you know, uh, where are the times here? This is all one chat, 348, uh, 1051, 1155. So there's nonstop communication. So the customer messages in, blah, 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 says something that's not shown here. This is chat GPT responding. Thanks for reaching out uh, to uh, blah, 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 heating, cooling. We're excited to help you. Would you like to book a time for a free quote? We look forward to hearing from you. Um, this was programmed with their how they want to sound and 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 the um you know the polite le the politeness level that they want to use. So everybody's a little bit different, but we're programming it with with their way of speaking. Then it misses back, and then it says then they said something else, and it says then there's another client. Hey, thanks for reaching out. We specialize in in installations of blah 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 ductless systems. If the client, uh, if the customer then said something more, yeah, I'm probably looking for a ductless system, the AI system would have enough data in it that it can start talking about ductless systems. The AI is absolutely fascinating. And again, it keeps getting better and better over time because we keep shaping it more and more to what the client does. So this is just a simple add-on service that we can add to your Google ads to help increase conversions. And also, if you're a marketing company and this is something that you want to offer to your clients, we have a white label service where we offer this. You can offer this to your clients. We'll do a revenue share with you on it. Uh, you know, the money that comes in from this, part of it goes to you, part of it goes to us. And uh, and yeah, so anyways, I'll let you get back to it, Carrie, there. All right, well, that was pretty much it there on what I was going to show. But this is uh, what I want to say here is that um, if you are a roofer, as an example, and you want to talk to us about your Google ads, head over to roofforgrow.com forward slash more dash roofing dash leads. We'll have the link below in the video here uh, if you want to head over there. If, for example, you're not a roofer, let's say you're in some other industry, whether it's roofing, whether it's HVAC, whether it's a marketing company, as Steve said, uh, a dentist, a home renovation contractor, go over here, click schedule consult, and just pick a time that you want to, a day and time that you want to talk to us. We'll give you a call. And we'll do a, a full demo about what we can do, answer any of your questions there. So again, yeah, you can go to resultsgrow.com and click on the schedule button, or you can go to roofergrow.com, more-roofing-leads. Again, that link will be below in the uh, in the description. So we're, we're here to help you if you're interested, especially for Google Ads. Totally free appointment. Jump on a call yeah. with one of our guys, and we can probably get a lot more detailed about your exact area. So if you're in... Uh, what, whatever area in the United States or Canada, um, we probably have a, another client in the area and we can pull up specific details about that area, uh, and, you know, for you. So definitely for sure. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something here on uh, some Google ads. And again, if there's any way we can help you head on over to our website. If you like this, subscribe, like that helps us and helps us get in front of more people on YouTube. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye.